the bear is perfect television. After catching audiences off guard with a thrilling, sentimental and charming first outing last year, the FX comedy drama wasted no time lining up a follow-up. Season 2 had a high bar to clear after the level of acclaim it generated with its first outing. It's now picked up several Emmy nominations and has become one of the network's most watched shows. Thankfully, the bar is cleared with flying colors as the bear's second season surpasses all expectations, and it's finally all available on Disney+. Carmi, played by Jeremy Allen White, and Richie's, Eben Mosbachrock, partnership is just as enthrallingly intense as ever and every member of their team gets the chance to shine. The premiere opens with a hard-hitting family twist for Marcus Brooks, Lionel Boyce, while Sid, AOA Beery, wearily shoulders more responsibility at the restaurant, now named The Bear. The Bear fans are eager to know if there will be a season 3 on Disney plus their efforts to reopen the Chicago spot and gain a Michelin star may be complemented by a soulful and inspiring classic rock soundtrack, but trouble is brewing within the walls. While the first season's drama was baked into the kitchen antics, season 2 piles on the pressure with crumbling foundations, a surprise revelation from Natalie, Abby Elliott, and painful reminders of Carmi's late brother Mickey, John Bernthal. Although the real-world drama remains as gripping as ever by delving into the financial struggles many U.S. eateries are currently facing, the cast is also funnier than ever. A. Beery has emerged as a major comedic talent over the past year and even the most intense scenes of bickering or strenuous maintenance can be blindsided with a sharp zinger from Richie or Neil Fake, Maddie Matheson, at any moment. Don't miss! Vin Diesel's Fast and Furious Feuds, from Dwayne Johnson to Jason Momoa, explainer, the Bears' Lionel Boyce was surprised when he met guest star Will Poulter, exclusive, Hollywood stars snapped on strike, from Kevin Bacon to Hilary Duff, pictures, there are plenty of delicious culinary respites, though, with the latest batch of episodes often affecting a soothing, washed-out tone like a momentary lapse in a violent storm. After just two seasons, the bear already feels iconic. It may not be as essential as Game of Thrones was a few years ago, but few shows are addressing the present day with the same level of empathy and sophistication. Each character feels whole, each space lived in, no small feat for a 10-episode season with episodes mostly under 40 minutes. Its economical storytelling is effortlessly naturalistic. Each conversational scene feels like the viewer has casually walked in on a snapshot of two or more real friends and co-workers, a miracle when the drama feels so heightened. The Bear's second season quickly lets its fans know they're in safe hands, with a punchy soundtrack featuring the likes of fine young cannibals, Rem and Squeeze. It reaches sublime levels of hangout drama in episode 4, in which Marcus meets Luca, Will Poulter, in Copenhagen, who calmly and assuredly shows him the ropes around some complicated desserts. There are more exciting guest spots to come later in the season, too, but Christopher Storer and the writing team's scripts are so immediate and gripping the gallery of famous faces never distracts from Carmi and Co's core collaboration. It's slightly disappointing that Disney Plus has opted to release all 10 episodes at once when this is a series that would benefit from more measured viewing. But, if our biggest complaint lies within its release schedule, it's safe to say we're dealing with the cream of the crop. The Bear Season 2 is available on Disney+. Plus.
melting.